How's it going guys? Ben Hess here with Adobe Stock and Epidemic Sound. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use low pass and high pass filters to make your audio stand out. If you don't know about low pass or high pass filters, you've most likely heard what they can do. The effect has been around for quite a long time, but it's getting more and more popular because it's super easy to make your audio and your entire project stand out. To give you an example, a low pass filter applied to a song sounds like this. And a high pass filter sounds like this. They essentially do what their name is, allow the lows to pass, or in other words, be heard, and the high pass allows the high parts of a song to be heard. There are so many uses for these effects, so let's go over low pass filters first. In Premiere Pro, to apply the effect, simply drag the low pass filter onto your audio clip. You can find this in the effects tab. To have it completely off, expand the cutoff option and drag it to the right. This slider has your low frequencies on the left, mid frequencies in the middle, and high frequencies on the right. Now slowly drag it to the left to hear the effect it has as it begins to cut off those frequencies. With a low pass filter, you can adjust how much of the low frequencies you want to hear by going as far left as you want. The real magic happens when you apply this to songs, dialogue, or even sound effects to customize them. Using Adobe Stock's audio, I'm easily searching with my chosen parameters to bring in a song directly to my timeline. You can use it at any portion of a song, such as when the song starts to slowly fade it in. The key is to honestly just mess around till you figure out what sounds good to you. You can use this effect to make a moment stand out when there is a slow motion shot or even just add variety to your videos. You can apply it to a song when there's dialogue happening. That way you can better hear the dialogue so it doesn't compete with the song. And you can even use this for underwater effects that you see in all the cool travel videos. Or make it seem like the music or dialogue is far away or in another room, kind of like it's muffled. When using these filters, I always like to add keyframes to transition the effect. But to take it one step further, you can right click the first keyframe and add an easy out transition and then the last keyframe at an easy in. Then you can adjust the spline to have the exact transition and flow that you'd like. Now, when it comes to using high pass filters, I tend to use this less, but it still offers a very unique effect. It's like the sound coming out of old or bad speakers. You can use this with music or dialogue too. Try fading the music in with a high pass filter. Try adding it to dialogue, for an old radio voice even. When we were in New York, we got subway passes and we rode the subway wherever we went. We felt like locals. And on top of using high pass and low pass filters, you can experiment with using reverb to continue getting some more unique effects. Click around and see what sounds good when you combine that with high pass and low pass filters. When we were in New York, we got subway passes and we rode the subway wherever we went. We felt like locals. These audio effects may seem small, but it's the little things like this, such as fading in with a low pass filter that can make your projects that much better, guys. The more seriously you take your audio, the better your projects are going to be in the end. So to recap, using a low pass filter allows low frequencies to come through. This is great for fading in songs, making dialogue sound audible, slow motion scenes, or scenes that are significant, or even the classic underwater effect. High pass filters are perfect for the old speaker setup or to fade in songs, and all of these effects can be stacked with other effects such as reverb. There really is no right or wrong way to go about these. It's all about having fun and trying to figure out what sounds best. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Drop a comment down below letting us know what you liked about this the most, and we'll see you guys on the next one.